Hey guys, welcome back once again to the hillside. It is early December and there's not a lot growing on outside, so this is the perfect time of year to plant tree seeds um, if you want to start getting a head start for the spring. Now, why am I planting seeds in the middle of December, you may ask. Well, uh, these right here are Dawn Redwood. You see the seed, seed cones right there. This one is unopened and you see as it matures, it opens up and you can see all the little seeds inside. Now, if you give this a good shake, you're going to get the seeds are going to fall out like this. Okay, so that's what those guys look like. Those are the Dawn Redwood seeds. And over here are some juniper seeds, and this is their seed pod there. And it is extremely difficult to pry these things apart, as it turns out. But I did get one apart right here, and you can see all the little seeds, uh, how they're, how many tightly packed there are inside just one little uh, seed cone right there. And that's what they look like in, ta in the compost and the top of the soil there. So, uh, like I said, why am I doing this in early December? Okay, well, trees like this require a period of cold stratification. So that is basically simulating nature. What's going to happen in nature? The seed cones are going to fall. They're going to open up on the ground, and you're going to get something like this. Seed cones are going to break apart, and you're going to get seeds on the ground. Now, throughout the winter, depending on your climate, you're going to get cold, and then it's going to warm up. You're going to freeze, and you're going to thaw. It's going to snow. It's going to rain. And a lot of seeds uh, needed this natural cycle just to break their dormancy. You know, it gives them the kind of that... Uh, feeling that, hey, I've gone through winter, and then once you finish the uh, the cold, warm, wet, you know, cycle, it triggers the embryo to start germinating, and then you produce a tree in the uh, in the springtime there. So uh, these uh, definitely require that period of cold stratification, and it's really, really simple. Okay, so all you want to do, especially for these seeds, I don't believe you really want to bury those deeply. What I'm going to do now is take the seeds, just get some water, and you're going to soak these. You're going to soak them, make sure the soil is nice and soaked, especially on top. So uh, use a spray bottle, whatever you need to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause right here. I'm going to water these, uh, these seeds in really well, and I'll show you the next step. All right, so as you see here, the soil has been soaked. This compost is a little dry, so it's going to take a little bit. But um, over here, this one got a little better. But you see the seeds are still on top. Now as you water them in, some of the times, like right here, the seeds all kind of got pushed to the side due to the dry nature of the compost, which, you know, you want to pre-moisten it, that's up to you, but all I'm going to do here is just take this uh, water sprayer here, make sure I get the top of that soil really, really, really soaked in there, because you want these seeds to stay moist, because drying out will sometimes kill these guys, so that's why ordering these offline may not always be the best option, you know, maybe the only option you have, but as soon as you get them, you need to soak them or hydrate them or do something, because keeping these moist using fresh seed cones if available is uh, definitely something you need to do. So I did make a video about collecting these around my neighborhood, some uh, some random trees I have out there. So that's about right. What you want to do is keep these nice and, and moist. So from there, um, I believe the redwood seeds here require a little bit of sunlight to, to germinate. I'm not sure about the juniper, but I think they may need a uh, similar condition. So you don't want to just dump a bunch of soil on top of these and bury them because they may never germinate just because they need that sunlight to trigger, which, you know, you might think that's how it is going to be in nature. The cones are going to fall. They're going to open up. Seeds are going to lay on top. They're going to stay moist, which is, a, like I said, it's really important to keep them moist. And then, um, yeah, so then now what we need to do is simulate the cold period that these plants need to undergo. So let's go over to the uh, spare fridge in the basement here, and I'll show you how I stratify some of my seeds. All right, guys, and there you go. The moistened compost, make sure you label your seeds because they're going to be in here for about two to three months. So trying to remember what they all are may not be possible always. So uh, I've done this many years. I've had great, uh, great success. Uh, over here, I have some more little seeds on top right there. Those are another set of Dawn Redwoods that I am um, trying out. And then, you know, various bags. These are actually... Uh, some other magnolia trees, some uh, southern magnolia, big leaf magnolia, and some other things I got cold stratifying up there. But yeah, if you're fortunate enough to have a uh, old refrigerator left in your basement when you bought a house, uh, put it to good use. Uh, you know, turn it into a cold stratification chamber for your seeds, especially if you're a plant uh, plant nut like I am. It's definitely going to come in handy. Um, you know, it might be a little inconvenient if you have to store some food down here. It gets in the way of what's actually important, you know, your plants. But, you know, you make the best of it. So anyway, so yeah, leave these in here. Don't touch them. You don't need to water them. That's why you make sure it stays nice and moist before you put it in there. If you really, really want to be uh, 
you know, overly cautious, you could maybe put some cellophane or like Ziploc around it or something like that. But, you know, with the seeds on top like that, you know, if this, they make contact with the seed when you try to take it off. You know, they may stick to it, cling to it, you know, static, whatever. So I'd kind of recommend you don't do that. I never have. I've had pretty good results unless you're using the, uh, like I said right here, the um, seeds inside of baggies. These are actually the big leaf magnolia, and this is actually kind of got a little too cold. It's frozen solid, so might need to turn the uh, temperature down on the, the fridge here as it is. But anyhow, guys, thanks for hanging out with me on the hillside today and a little bit of winter gardening, a little bit of winter uh, seed stratification. Hope you guys learned something. If you have any comments or questions, drop them down below. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the hillside. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. All right, bye-bye.